hypertrophic scar. Um, I am not responsible for the scar, by the way. However, they are not uncommon things, and um, you can see that. Uh, oops, go back. Uh, you can see that it's following the line of the scar. There are some stitch marks, here, some external stitches or staples, maybe we used in this case from the looks of it, and you have scar tissue that is following the length of the scar, but has not extended past the scar. And uh, if you were to um, speak to the patient, you'd hear it's you know followed sometime after surgery, that um, it's itchy, and um, if you treat it with steroids, it is likely to regress, it would require multiple treatments, and it would probably leave you with a flat, pale, um, somewhat stretched looking um, area of skin. Um, if we go to this one, so this lady had an ear piercing, it was just a piercing, and um, she has developed a huge wadge of scar tissue big watch. There's no way the piercing was that big unless the guy was really unsteady with the piercing gun. Uh, this has obviously spread and has moved to adjacent previously non-scarred bits of skin and it's this infiltrative nature that um, really distinguishes these. If you were to treat this by removing it, uh, it will come back um, because you are causing an injury to skin in a person who's predisposed to keloid scars. So what are they going to do in response to that injury? They'll get another keloid scar possibly worse. There is something we do called intralesional excision where you keep your excision to within the scar border itself, not along the intact skin. So it will be unsatisfyingly um, not neat and tidy for the obsessive compulsive type plastic surgeon who likes a really neat tidy job. Um, it will sort of still look raised and it will not look as good as it. you know that you could get it on table. Uh, but by doing it like that, you are not injuring further uninjured skin. Um, and at worst, it will just be as bad as it started rather than worse than it started. Um, other things that would be used here, um, steroid injection, pressure therapy. So the ear is a great idea for external pressure. A clip-on earring is just as good as a custom-made device. Um, but these are prone to recurrence, I'm afraid. And you just need to have um, be aware of that from the outset.